What is up my YouTube viewers? Today we're actually at St. Patel Mall. Um, to be perfectly honest with you guys, this is probably the most boring mall in Winnipeg. If you're in the Winnipeg area, you can feel for me. Um, it's honestly a really small mall. I know I know there is a Kildonan Park Mall, but from where I live, it's just too far. So we just settled to go to St. Patel. I haven't been here in a long time, so the expectations could change. So um, we're heading in there now and I'll see you guys inside. I don't think they can hear you, but okay. So this mall is pretty small. Uh, there's only one level and uh, you know, it's uh, I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but uh, there's not even that much people here. And I'm just sitting here. I've been sitting here for the past 20 minutes now. So I honestly don't know why I'm doing this. Um, it's more just the content in general. Um, but like I said, I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but um, I'll try and time lapse the whole mall as much as I can. Why do you need to go so close to it? Yo, that clarity of the shot was so dope. Go, go, go back closer. You can see every single pore and acne on my cheek. Facts. Why are you hating on St. Vital? <laughs> I don't know. It's the only Foot Locker in this mall. No House of Hoops. Just Foot Locker. They don't even get exclusive here. And when I mean by exclusives, they actually do not carry any kind of special release Jordans or Nikes at that Foot Locker. Kind of like these. The Kyrie 2 Low. It's kind of fire. Hmm. Yo, they actually low-key have fire stuff. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I said, I had... Like, yo, they low-key have fire stuff here. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be an adequate amount of like stuff that I would see at like Polo Park Mall, but they 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 moving up actually. Um, was not expecting it. Like I said, um, I'm surprised. I'm shocked. So, um, and like I said, when I came before I came inside the mall, I wasn't thinking much of anything. But hey, at least this store has 
little bit more uh, selection. What's good? How do you feel about Saint Patel? I want to get it's all white. You want all whites? That meant some typical white girl thing to do, bro. Oh, how about these? How about these chunky monkeys? I could actually see you wearing those. Not gonna lie. Like, put them beside like your feet. I know they're not your size, but like, damn. Oh, shoot. The fit, the fit though. I'd rock them. How would you pronounce it? Omomo? Omomo in Japan living? Mm. <laughs> this place is kind of like a bootleg uh, Dollarama, except in Japan. So this mall actually was definitely exceeded my expectations. Um, I wasn't planning on staying while well, they weren't planning on staying that long. They actually bought a couple stuff. I'm actually pretty surprised at the selection. Um, I was actually more surprised at the at Full Locker because they actually had a lot of like shoes that I didn't think they would have just because that Full Locker was well known for not having good selection of sneakers. And um, that Japanese place that I showed you guys, which actually really reminded me of a bootleg Dollarama that we have here. So that's probably their Dollarama back home. So I don't know, it's pretty dope, but uh, yeah. All right guys, so new day. Um, and today we're actually not gonna be working on the car. Well, my car at least. Today we're actually gonna be putting on new wheels for my dad's car. In case you guys didn't know, uh, he actually has a Civic Type R. And today we're just going to be chilling, uh, watching him do the wheels um, and uh, we'll see how these wheels will look like on his car. Yes, uh, the wheels for my car are still coming in, I'm still waiting, kind of salty about that but uh, let's take a look and peep the new wheels for the Type R, let's go.
So as you saw in the cinematics, uh, those are looking dope. Uh, they are Desmond Regamasters, legit ones as well. Um, he went with an 18 by 9.5, uh, plus 45 I believe. But uh, the Type R only comes equipped with a 5x120 lug pattern, so it kind of sucks. Um, I wish that they stuck with the 5x114, so at least we would be able to switch. But that's okay, I mean, you know, his wheels, it's kind of dope though. A little bit jealous, no, I'm just playing. Um, but yeah, the wheels for my car will be coming in very soon. Actually planning to do more video and footage uh, of the Type R um, in the next coming days, couple weeks, um, give you guys a more in-depth review on how it looks with the new Rega Masters on, um, and I'll catch you guys actually with some rollers, a little bonus clip for you guys. So. Guys, so that'll do it for the vlog. Just a quick little session, little photo shoot um, of my dad's Type R. Hope you guys like the video. Um, I decided to just combine days just because uh, on off days I'm just doing really nothing. So there's no point of vlogging anything. But yeah, um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.